Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be taking a look at some new findings that makes the mysterious missing princess IKZ mystery even stranger. So we got a huge breakthrough on this case when Red Dead Redemption 2 was released on PC. Because one of the in-game models we found was actually Princess Isabeau. In fact, I'm playing as her right now. And this was insane because when the game was only out on console, we didn't know if, you know, Princess IKZ existed in an adult form. And we'll recap sort of everything towards the end of this video, but I want to talk about what is new that has actually been found. And this gets me excited about the future because I only think more stuff like this is going to come out. And as people start to dive into the code of RDR2 on PC, more things are coming out. And this was actually first discovered, at least to my knowledge, by a user Pariah87 on the GTA forum site. He found two lines of code in the Red Dead Redemption 2 files that directly relate to the missing princess. Here they are. The first one, as you can see here, is take the princess to the Annisburg Sheriff. And then the second line of code is drop the princess in the cell. So that is incredibly interesting. It looks like there was a specific mission that had us taking the princess to the Annisburg Sheriff and then dropping her in the cell. So you might be wondering, if we're rescuing a princess here, why would we take her to a sheriff office and why would we put her in a cell like a prisoner? So because we don't know anything else, I'm just gonna go with a theory here. Given what we've known so far, the first is information coming directly from the missing persons poster. And at the very bottom, it does say to return her to the nearest sheriff office immediately. So the fact that we're bringing her to a sheriff station is not really a surprise here. That's exactly what the missing person poster wants us to do. What is surprising is putting her in a cell, like she's a prisoner and committed a crime, like we're almost turning in a bounty. So again, this is my theory, but here's what I think happened to Princess Isabeau. As you know, in 1899, she would be 20 years old. I don't know how Rockstar would have handled it in uh, 1907 when you play as John Marston, but 2027, that's not a huge difference. She would still roughly look how she is in game. I think that instead of this princess being like a, you know, perfect lost royal daughter, uh, turns out to be somewhat of a criminal. Maybe her time on her own lost in the wilderness turned her into, I guess, more of a ruthless character. And I'm going to assume that the way we discover her is by her committing some sort of crime. Because again, that would be the only reason why we would turn her into a cell. If she was just lost, we would bring her to the sheriff and hopefully the sheriff would take her home. Instead, we're treating her like a bounty and turning her in like that. So I think that this means the missing princess, Isabeau here, probably committed some sort of crime or did something really wrong. And it would have only have been discovered once we found her. Because again, all signs point to the fact that this is just a missing, lost royal girl and she hasn't actually committed any crimes. In fact, everything we hear about her in game is mostly positive. Now, again, the last time that anyone would have seen her, she would have been five years old, so I guess it is kind of difficult to say something negative about a five-year-old. Again, on the wanted poster, it says reward. On the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Princess Isabeau Katharina Zinsmeister, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg is offering a $100 reward for her safe return to the authorities, the princess disappeared at age five during a royal visit to the United States in June of 1884. She has blonde hair and birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. Now, going back to the mission, it would be interesting, you know, would the sheriff office still give you the $100 for actually finding the princess? That does kind of line up with some of the other bounty rewards that you get in game, which are like, 50, 75, $90, sometimes even less. So that amount would make sense as far as turning in a bounty goes. And then of course, there's a newspaper article that says Royal Kidnap Reward Offered for Princess Isabeau, Luxembourg Royal, 15 year anniversary of suspected kidnapping. 
Luxembourg, and a royal proclamation, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, has issued a decree offering a reward of $1,000 for information resulting in the whereabouts of Princess Isabeau. The princess disappeared from a remote hunting lodge while on a hunting trip during a private family visit to the United States. She was five years old at the time. Some believe she was murdered, some that she was abducted and kidnapped. Although no ransom note was ever received, others persist that she was eaten by wild animals. Her disappearance has been a source of never-ending trauma and embarrassment to the royal family, especially her brother, who has frequently implored the American people to assist in finding information regarding her whereabouts, and himself denies any wrongdoing in her disappearance. While there have been rewards offered in the past, the most recent offering is the highest ever considered. It follows recent rumors that she had been taken to a small town in the United States. Princess Isabeau has a characteristic birthmark on her face and right hand. Anyone who suspects her whereabouts is encouraged to visit local law enforcement. So there you go. That is everything that is written about Princess Isabeau in game. Although there are some other findings in the world that you can have of her. Uh, like, for example, at Manzanita Post, which is a like Norwegian settlement slash hunting lodge in Tall Trees. There's actually two things that you can find that are kind of suspicious. The first is a Norwegian journal page, and the next is a Norwegian photo of like a very young baby or like an infant. And many believe, including myself, especially because the newspaper article and the wanted poster say that she disappeared near a hunting lodge. That sounds awfully convenient to describe a place like Manzanita Post. There's definitely something going on there. Uh, there's also something going on at the Van Horn fence. You've got the uh, chest with her family seal on there. You've got the baby toys and the dolls. The chest has IKZ inscribed on there. So there's definitely something going on at the Van Horn fence. We just don't know what it is quite yet. And then there's a handful of different settlers throughout the world that will also mention Princess Isabeau. You ain't looking for that princess, is you? you already made us Had a few fellers through here recently it. asking about that. Chasing some reward for some European princess missing for 15 years now. Damn fools. Only princesses in Van Horn charged by the hour for less than a royal buck. Anyways, <laughs> you clearly don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'm not myself these days. I don't know if you've ever had an obsession in your head. You know, something that takes a hold and won't let go. When I came to this country over seven years ago now, I heard about this reward. Yes, now I have your attention, see? A princess from Europe was lost here when she was a child, 15 years ago. Her body was never discovered. Her country still has hope and is offering a lot of money to anybody who can bring her in. I've been looking for her ever since, on and off. A man told me to look in the town of Van Horn, so that's where I'm headed now. It's probably nothing again. For a man who lives like me, free and on the move, it's strange. I just can't let it go. But it feels, you, you know, unfinished. So what does this mean for the current state of Red Dead Redemption 2? I still believe that this is likely cut content. I, I am assuming at some point in time before Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, Rockstar had this grand mission, or at least something similar to a bounty hunt, where you could use clues like this to find Princess Isabeau. And if you ever stumbled across the town of Van Horn uh, and you picked up the missing person poster, you would go out, find her. She likely would have committed a crime if we were bringing her to a jail cell. And also, a lot of you guys might be wondering why we would bring her to Annisburg if her missing poster is in Van Horn. Well, Van Horn doesn't actually have a sheriff department. It's kind of like a lawless town. So Annisburg would actually be the closest settlement. So I guess that would make sense why we would ultimately bring her there. And so I'm guessing is Rockstar just removed all of those missions from the game. You can obviously see the coding is still there, but they decided to leave the missing persons poster up on the wall. And I think Rockstar might have done this intentionally. Now, I don't know why they decided to scrap the mission. I think it would have been a lot of fun. Uh, there's obviously clues for that mission left over in the game. But maybe they just decided, okay, if we leave the missing person poster up, people will go crazy about it. And that is exactly what happened. You know, the community has gone wild over trying to solve this missing princess mystery. 
And maybe that's the effect that Rockstar wanted, and if so, they definitely succeeded here. Now, I'm sure that will be upsetting to some fans, because I do believe there's a good chance we will never see a conclusion to this mystery, other than the hints and clues we find in the game files, although... Maybe, just maybe, and I'm holding out hope for this, that sometime down the line, Rockstar will add more story mode additions to the game, and hopefully one of them will be eventually finding the lost princess. Well, at least we know she's alive, but it would be cool to see how she goes about getting found and what the resolution to her story actually is. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated if there's any more findings or discoveries or new bits of information like this surrounding the uh, missing princess IKZ. But that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on what you think about these newest findings for the missing princess mystery. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.